Yvette, what is the Minister of Finance hoping to achieve by forcing this de-dollarization of the economy? Hi, Larry. Um, what the Ministry of Finance has, has stated as a requirement for local transactions is that these are conducted in, local, in, in the local kwacha. Um, so this basically means that all contractual obligations and, um, and local purchases of goods and services between residents of Zambia will be required to do these transactions in, um, in the local currency. Uh, a lot of transactions and contracts are currently in foreign currencies, particularly the dollar. Um, so examples of contracts that will be affected are um, real estate contracts, rental contracts, uh, as well as employment contracts, but also some uh, goods and services contracts between corporates in Zambia. Uh, there are, for example, some companies that have contracts with mining operations that are denominated in US dollars. Exactly. These and so what happens, or what is the impact of this de-dollarization and the ramification for that on these contracts, both employment and business? Um, I doubt that it will have uh, necessarily an impact on the real economy immediately. What it, it will, however, do is change the dynamics in money supply somewhat. Um, so these transactions that are currently denominated in foreign currency uh, will now be needed to, to convert it into local currency. Um, as such, the comp a compilation of monetary aggregates is likely to shift in favor of local currency. Um, as such, the, the supply uh, or rather demand for local currency may um, see some rise over the near, t near to, to uh, medium term. Um, this may be associated with increased demand for Zamb the Zambian kwacha um, and if this is not met by increased liquidity it could lead to some upward uh, pressure on local rates. Uh, we do however this, expect this impact to be limited um, in, at the onset um, as the local market participants grapple with the amount of uh, contracts that are likely to, to be affected by this. And the central bank says a very important point here that is payment of a uh, uh, basically using the dollar as currency means it's very hard for economic management, most not least of which is monetary policy implementation. And if everybody uses the kwacha, it's much easier for them. That's very true. That's one of the main reasons why many African countries are, are keen to reduce the amount of uh, real dollarization and fin financial dollarization in their economies. Um, a greater share of monetary aggregates in the form of local currency increases the ability of the central bank to adjust liquidity conditions uh, using obviously the local currency instruments that they have to their availability. A large share of financial um, uh, sorry, financial dollarization uh, inhibits the ability of the central bank to manage liquidity conditions and therefore um, adjust liquidity to increase um, or diminish the amount of domestic demand through the impact it has on interest rates. Hotels, car hire firms and even tour operators also now require to quote their prices in Kwacha, even on global websites in some cases. Is this unusual? This is not unusual. Uh, many other African countries have, in general, sought to reduce the amount of dollarization through enforcing um, the listing of prices in local currency as well as the conduction, or sorry, the conduct of these co transactions in local currency. So we've seen um, a number of other African countries take these steps before. Uh, Angola is one of them. Uh, Ghana has done this in the, in the early 2000s. Um, Mozambique is another example that I can think of, but also in other parts of the emerging world, including Brazil and China, uh, where it is is not legal to use a foreign currency uh, to, to conduct uh, domestic transactions and or list prices. Compare this for us to Zimbabwe, which has dollarized its economy and uh, the parallels to draw between those two. Uh, there's, there's quite a sharp contrast between the dollarization that we see in, in economies such as Zambia where uh, approximately 40% of deposits are in foreign currency or that of Mozambique and Angola where retrospectively about 30 uh, to 50% of deposits are in foreign currency and that of Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is actually a de jure um, a full dollarization of the economy where there is no, lo no legal tender, uh, local currency legal tender. Um, so they have actually completely uh, relinquished their local monetary policy and solely rely on foreign currencies as means of store or value as well as the, uh, the conduct of local transactions um, as well as the store of wealth. So 
the, the central bank of Zimbabwe has absolutely uh, no um, control over monetary policy and it is solely reliant on that of the currencies which it uses to conduct. Um, for Zimbabwe it will be far more difficult to de-dollarize their economy because it would require the introduction of their own local currency um, and this could be done under various monetary policy regimes um, but the most important requirement that will likely be uh, needed before they can do so is credible monetary policy um, and at this point in time I don't think a, the introduction of a local currency would be advisable considering the credibility issues that they continue to face uh, in terms of um, economic policy. Yvette, many thanks for explaining this context and uh, analysis for us. Many thanks, Yvette, at Standard Bank.